My recent dive trip took me back again to Sadouana Bay, nestled in the northeast corner of South Africa. Coral reefs here are situated fairly close to the shore, but in order to get to them you have to brave the incoming crashing waves. There is no safe place for your boat, and only your wits ensure a successful launch. But just a short ride behind the break line lies a massive reef complex with well over 30 dive sites. Aside the main Sodwana Reef, called Two Mile Reef, lies an underwater ledge called Hopscotch, a sliver of reef grown over with corals. While it looks flat from the top, the bottom is actually a maze of small overhangs, short ledges, crevices and full of holes perfect for marine life to hide. First thing you notice when descending is a resident school of beautiful bannerfish. They will keep you company during the whole dive. When on the bottom it doesn't feel like much excitement, but as soon as you start poking your head in the various hiding places, you can find some really interesting creatures. Eye-catching ribbon eels use the many little holes in the reef structure to hide their bodies from harm while hoping for wandering little fish to swim close enough to gobble them up. Most of the time you will see only a ribbon eel's head poking out, but in reality they have very long bodies reaching even one and a half meters. Seeing one completely out is a sight one in a million dives, unfortunately. This is a favorite reef for small geometric moray eels, white with a distinct pattern of black dots on their heads. You can often see them together with other morays in the same hole. This dive site is famous for sightings of what we call nuclear hunting or interspecies hunting. Here the eel is hunting together with three different species of reef fish. A goatfish, emperor fish and small kingfish. While these fish have generally very little in common, they can band together to create a formidable hunting pack and help each other out. Moray eel is usually the most sought after hunting partner, as with its agile body it can squeeze into crevices and chase out little fish hiding in them while other partners wait patiently at the exit to grab the frightened victim. As hopscotch dive set is generally a little bit deeper, it's favored by sponges rather than hard coral. These sponges attract probably one of the ugliest fish in the world, and yet one of the most sought after by recreational divers. Frogfish, in some places called anglerfish, are generally really hard to spot. They are also not really in the habit of moving too much. Most of their time they just sit in one place and wait for passing prey. I must tell you that filming frogfish is probably one of the most tedious and boring tasks. Once you manage to find one, it takes ages until they actually do something. Even the slightest shift of the body is sometimes too much to ask of them. So to make things interesting, you have to settle for different colors they come in, as they can change and adapt their skin to the surroundings. they can actually swim. Having said that, it's probably one of the clumsiest swim techniques in the marine world, but it does the job. If you look at the swimming pattern, they propel themselves forward in short distances, bouncing back from the bottom every now and again. That is why they call them frogfish, as they sort of jump from place to place just like frogs do on land.